Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain what FICO is, what it stands for, and what are some of the applications of FICO, and what is the typical workflow of simulating a design using FICO. I am Dr. Saran Rajkarupaswamy, aka Saran. You can contact me at saran at altair.com if you have any questions. FICO is one of the leading 3D full web electromagnetic tools, which is widely used in many industries for EM analysis. So what does FICO stand for? In plain English, it stands for field computations involving bodies of arbitrary shape. It comes from a German word which says, So here's a short video of uh, what about FICO. So these are some of the basic applications where FICO is used from antenna design to microwave circuit design. It can be also used for designing waveguides and RF components. Bredome design, this is basically where you have uh, the covering of the antennas. Uh, it is also used for uh, EMC, EMI analysis, for RCS analysis, for antenna placement studies and bioelectromagnetics. So this is just to give you an idea of what FICO is used currently in the field for. And our focus for is on the workflow. So let's get right into it. So here is an example of a typical workflow. We have two parts. One is where we create and modify a, and set a model and simulate the model and the other is where we do the post-processing where we look at the results. So using CAD FICO, we normally create the geometry or maybe say for example, we create the antenna uh, geometry there, set the solution settings, meaning what is the solver you require to solve. Say it can be a finite element method, it can be a method of movement, so you'd set that there. Then you define the frequency of operation, it can be a single frequency, it can be a range of frequency, then you define the ports, it can be a wire port, it can be an edge port, it can be a um, FEM port, wire port or line port. So ports can be set there, that's the excitation, and then the request, what do you want FICO to calculate? Maybe S parameters, gain, near field, all those requests are applied. Once it's all done, the next step is to mesh the model. Mesh is basically discretizing the model into smaller components so that FICO will take those each of those components and solve them. So in case of default MOM, those components are triangles. And if it is FEM, those components are tetrahedrons. So FICO will invoke Maxwell's equation and solve for the fields on each of these triangles. And then, uh, you know, Put them together to give you the results. Then of course you validate the model and check if everything is fine and then you run the solver. So once you complete running the solver then you go into post FICO and you look at results. You can plot uh, S11, you can plot gain, you can plot 3D grain, etc. 
So this is a typical workflow starting from CAD Vigo and ending in post Vigo. So here I created a simple example, consider this to be uh, some kind of a structure. I just want to show here, it goes from left to right, the process I said. The first process is to construct the geometry. Okay, that uh, comes under construct where you have different uh, types of shapes which you can use. And then you uh, define the frequency range which goes here under frequency you have you can either define a single frequency a continuous uh, interpolated range or linearly discrete place uh, linearly spaced discrete points or logarithmically spaced discrete points or it can be a list of uh, discrete points so you can create uh, what frequency it needs to be solved and then assign a port to it it can be a wire port it can be edge port or fem line port once you assign the port you need to assign the source to the port so in case of wire port or edge port, you will assign a voltage source. In case of FEM line port, you will assign a current source. For waveguide port, you will assign a waveguide source. And for FEM modal port, you will assign a FEM modal source. Okay. So once you finish applying uh, the source and uh, request uh, 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 and defining the frequency, the next thing is to define the request, what uh, FECO needs to calculate. Saying so here, we can calculate the multiport S parameters. If you have more than one port, uh, we can calculate, say if you have two ports, for example, you can calculate S11 and S21 by clicking on this and uh, choosing which are the ports that needs to be calculated and leaving it active, okay? We can calculate the far fields. Say, for example, if I'm looking for 3D pattern, here uh, I click on 3D, it will calculate uh, far fields at each of these uh, cross points, okay? or you can calculate near field where basically you can give a start point and an end point and uh, define how many number of points in between you need to calculate. Okay. You can calculate surface currents. Right. So these are some of the things which you can uh, request. So once you complete the request, you have to mesh. This is basically uh, to tell the mesh is where you uh, discretize the geometry into triangles or tetrahedrons so that uh, FICO will solve for fields using each of those triangles. So you click on create mesh and there are different mesh sizes. I normally leave it standard so the software will figure out by itself, but you have fine and coarse and you can also do custom mesh size if you don't like these choices. And under solve run, that's where you set the solution settings. So if you click on solution settings, you'll find different methods for solving. Normally when you're using the standard method of uh, MOM, you just need to leave it default. It's good to always uh, enable double precision so that your data is much more accurate. So uh, there are other uh, methods like uh, ACA, MLFMM, FEM, finite uh, difference time domain method, and then like physical optics, ray launching geometric optics, uniform theory of diffraction. So these are different types of methods for calculating your, um, evaluating your model and calculating the fields. And FEM is one of them, finite element method. Okay. So that's where the solution settings are. And then this is the validate where you click on it and it will tell you that if your setup is correct, everything will validate. And then you click on FICO solver, that will solve uh, your model. So once your model is solved, you can click on post FICO. So it, this will open up a window. So here I did not run a, a simulation, so you know there is nothing here. But just for you to uh, show what this window will look window will look like. Here you can click on Cartesian and then you can plot. So the results will be available if we have simulated. Uh, you can click on polar, you know, you can do polar plot, you can do Smith chart, you can do a surface plot. So, or you can just leave it at 3D view and you can uh, look at the 3D uh, far field as well. So this is post-FICO. So this is a brief 
overview of uh, a simple workflow for running a geometry using FICO and visualizing the results using post FICO. Thank you for watching.